All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have discovered the final new card in Inscription Casey's mod. It is a rare, of course, and it is called the Curious Egg. Now, in order to unlock this card, you don't actually get it from a boss fight. You don't actually get it from the trader with a golden pelt. But actually, you can only get it from the final starter deck, because this new update of Inscription Casey's mod also contains the rest of the new starter decks. Now, we'll have a separate video on that. The Curious Egg costs one bone has zero attack and one health, and a brand new sigil called Finical Hatchling. And the Finical Hatchling uh, sigil reads exactly as the description of Curious Egg on the unlock page, which says that the card will hatch when drawn if the numbers 1 to 5 are represented in the health of the creatures in your deck and in their power, and if there is a creature of each tribe in your deck. Now, uh, to explain this a little better... Uh, as you can see on the Curious Egg, one of the uh, dots on it is glowing. We have a symbol of the heart of the attack and of the canine kin. And these represent the different healths among creatures in your deck, the different attacks, and the different tribes. Once you have a card with one health in your deck, that first uh, dot in the first uh, row here at the top is going to be glowing and of course the curious egg itself fulfills that condition So you need to have a creature with one health and another creature with two health with three four and five And then you also need to have a creature with one attack two three four and five and one creature of each kin Then whenever you draw the curious egg it will hatch. I do want to point out that uh, one good way to help you know speed up the process of getting these things to hatch is by getting yourself an amalgam because that card not only will fulfill the three health and three attack costs but also has one of every kin already so that takes care of seven of the requirements the curious egg hatches into the hydra and like the amalgam it has one of every kin on it it looks super cool it still just costs one bone it has one attack power five health and both the bifurcated and trifurcated sigils now, as of this update of Casey's mod, Bifurcated, Trifurcated, and Double Strike all stack now. So when the Hydra attacks, he will actually be attacking five total times. Twice to the left, twice to the right, and once right in front of him. So, that's represented by the five different attacks, five different healths, and five different kins that you need, because it has five health, five kins, and it attacks five times. Now one thing about the Hydra is that even if you buff your eggs with additional sigils or with, you know, additional attack power or health, that will not carry over to the Hydra because once the egg hatches, it just becomes the Hydra itself. However, any totem buffs you have will apply to the Hydra. It is a little bit glitched right now where if you have uh, combined some of the eggs with the Mycologists or if you have painted an additional egg with Gubert, then those will not actually transfer the artwork to the Hydra for some reason. It's just bugged. I'm sure that'll be fixed in the next patch. It does take a lot of effort to uh, get the eggs to hatch. And in fact, I couldn't do it until after beating the second boss. However, it's, it's pretty cool. Now, whether or not it's worth it to have this card, I mean, it's very strong and it only costs one bone. It's just a question of whether or not the effort is worth it. So I'll leave that up to you guys in the comments. Do you guys think that the Hydra is a good card? Is it worth the effort getting all those different uh, cards in your deck in order to summon it? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more Inscription videos, and I'll see you in the next one.